Hey guys, um, here we are for another ELA lesson. Um, just like last time, I'm going to flip my screen so that you can see my Google Slides. Um, and I need you to pull up the Google Doc that goes with this assignment because there are gonna be times where I ask you to pause the video, type in your answer, and then come back. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, so this is module three, unit two, lesson six, and hopefully you're watching this and it's Tuesday, April 7th. So the learning targets. I can determine the gist and the meaning of unfamiliar words and phrases in act two, scene two of divided loyalties. Um, this is something that we've done many times before. Um, determining the gist just means what is the text mostly about? Um, and I can describe a character using details from the text in Act 2, Scene 2 of Divided Loyalties. So again, another learning target we've done before. We're going to pick a character. We're going to say how that character, um, what they're thinking or what they're feeling. And then we're going to support that answer with details from the text. So Act 2, Scene 2. It's in the Barton's home and at a Sons of Liberty meeting. It is a cold winter night in December 1776. The wind is fierce, yet only two of the Bartons are asleep in their beds. In the dark, William quickly dresses and creeps down the back stairs. He is on his way to a meeting of the Sons of Liberty, which he has secretly joined. But before he can escape out the back door, Abigail and Ben stop him. William, are you going to a Sons of Liberty meeting? You must take me with you. Don't be silly, Abigail. Mother would be furious if she found out I had taken you to a meeting. And who knows what father would do. Then take me. I'll be good, I promise. I want to belong to the Sons of Liberty, too. Look, you two, I need you to stay here in case father wakes up. You have to cover for me. Okay, I'll make sure no one notices you're missing, but I still wish I could go. Go back to bed, Ben. You'll freeze in just your nightshirt, and you know how angry father will be if he finds you've left your bed. All right. I'm going. If you do not take me, William, I shall scream and wake up both mother and father. Abigail, that is so unfair. I know it's unfair, but it's also unfair that I get left out. I want to be a patriot as much as you do. I don't want to just knit socks like the other women. Oh, come on then. Dress warmly and hurry up. I'll be ready in five minutes. Abigail and William make their way through the night to the Sons of Liberty meeting. A soldier from Washington's army is there to recruit volunteers for the army. The time has come for Washington to move against the British army. The Patriots know that if Washington doesn't win a victory soon, people will lose faith and the rebellion will be over. As, Ab as Abigail and William arrive, the soldier is encouraging men in the group to join the Patriot army. General Washington needs some good men to help him. We need men to spy on the enemy soldiers and report on their movements. And we need men to join the army. I cannot share more information with you now, but know that this is important to our cause. Now who is with us? I can help. Thank you, miss, but we need soldiers. Women are fighting for your cause too, sir. I can watch the soldiers and report their movements. Who will suspect a girl of gathering information? You make a good argument, young lady. Report your findings to Mr. Smith, the blacksmith. He is standing at the back of the room. And you, William Barton, what do you have to say for yourself? Remember what we are fighting for. It is our right to govern ourselves. We do not need Great Britain telling us how to live our lives. As Thomas Paine said, these are the times that try men's soul. But if we work together and follow General Washington, we will find ourselves victorious. I am ready to serve, sir. I can watch the soldiers and report back to you, and I am ready to join the Patriot Army. Good man. Now who else will join the Army and help us win our freedom? Abigail gets directions on how to pass the information about the British soldiers, and William receives a folded up note from Mr. Smith. The meeting breaks up so that people can make it home before the British soldiers start their early morning patrols. William and Abigail race home, knowing that these de desperate times are going to change their lives forever. When the roosters crow at dawn, Abigail and William are safely in their beds, but far too excited to sleep. Okay, so what is the gist? What happened in this scene? Think about that. And what was the most important takeaway? So if you could sum up what happened in this scene in one sentence, what would you tell me the gist is?
So go ahead and pause this video here, type in your answers in the Google Doc, and then come back and play the video again. Okay, hopefully at this point you already filled in what was the gist of this scene? And that's important because we need it moving on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to model how to fill in this chart and analyze how a character feels. So for my example, I'm gonna use William. And so this is the chart right here. So William's on um, the bottom left-hand box. And in the middle, I'm going to fill in what does this character think slash feel. And then how do I know? So I can't just say William feels excited. I'm going to have to back that up. How do I know what are his actions? So what does he do? Um, and how does he interact with other characters? Because that's also important. So what does this character think or feel? Hmm. Well, William, he really, really wants to help any way that he can. He wants to join the Patriot Army, right? He wants to help them in any way that he can. He just wants to do something, right? How do I know this? Because that's, okay, that's an answer, right? But how do I know that that's for sure the answer? Do I have enough evidence to back me up? Well, in the text, William says to the soldier, and here's my quote, because this is exactly what he said. I am ready to serve, sir. I can watch the soldiers and report back to you. So that is one quote. And again, you have to put quotation marks around the exact part you're taking out of the text. William also says, quote, I am ready to join the Patriot Army. So again, I want to remind you that in this box, I'm putting, how do I know? So this part, William says to the soldier, that's my, my words, right? I'm telling you. And then I put quotations around what William said. So you can clearly see just by looking at it, what part is my words and what part is someone else's words. Okay. So here I got what William thinks or feels, and here I got my evidence to support me. So um, in a moment, you're going to fill this out for a different character. Now, once I fill this out, I'm going to um, write a paragraph about it, okay? So how about we pause the video at this time and you're gonna fill out the same chart but for Abigail. How does Abigail feel in this scene, right? And how do you know? So how does she feel is in the middle and then how do you know you're gonna pull two pieces of evidence? What are two things that she says or does um, that will prove how she's feeling, okay? So go ahead and pause the video, and when you're done, you're gonna press play and continue. Okay, so now that we both have our charts filled out, we both have how our character feels, we both have evidence to support that, so we're not just saying, oh, our character feels this. No, we have evidence from the text to support us. We are going to write a paragraph and put it all together. Um, so here's my modeled writing. In Act 2, Scene 2 of Divided Loyalties by Gary Thompson, blank happens. So the parentheses are not part of the sentence. The parentheses is where you're going to fill in the answer. So notice that I'm starting with Act 2, Scene 2. I'm telling you specifically what scene we're talking about, and I'm telling you what book it's Divided Loyalties, and the author. So just in case there's multiple Divided Loyalty books, um, I'm telling you specifically the author, so we know that it's Divided Loyalties by Gary Thompson. We're talking about this book specifically. Um, and more, more specific than that, we're talking about Act 2, Scene 2. Okay, so your paragraph should automatically start with In Act 2, Scene 2 of Divided Loyalties by Gare Thompson. And then you're gonna fill in the blank. What was the gist that you recorded um, a little while ago? Okay, so you're gonna fill that in. I'm not gonna tell you that answer. William really wants to do whatever he can to help the Patriots. So that text right now, I have it in blue. You don't have to write yours in blue, but I'm just color coordinating it so that you can see what each sentence is. So the blue is what my character is thinking or feeling. So William really wants to do whatever he can to help the Patriots. So that was from my chart, right? William really wants to do whatever he can to help the Patriots. 
So here's my evidence to support it. It's in red. In this scene, he says to the soldier, I am ready to serve, sir. I can watch the soldiers and report back to you. Again, you see my quotation marks. He also wants to join the Patriot Army. So this is, again, how William feels. He says, quote, I am ready to join the Patriot Army. William definitely wants to help the Patriot cause. So um, again, my writing, anything that's in blue is what the character is thinking or feeling, which I have two statements, two um, sentences where I'm telling you what he's thinking or what he's feeling. And then for each um, answer, right, about how my character is feeling, I have a piece of text evidence to support that. So I have two separate um, text evidence, two different quotes. Now my green sentence is important because you need to wrap up your paragraph. So it's gonna be a conclusion sentence where you just finish it and put a nice little neat bow around it. So in conclusion, with everything that I said about the gist, everything that I said about how William's feeling, at the end, I'm telling you so, Here's the message I want you to take away. William definitely wants to join or, or wants to help the Patriot cause, okay? So what I want you to do is, with this modeled writing, with this nice example, I want you to use your chart that you filled out for Abigail, and I want you to write a paragraph. So again, you should start with the sentence starter in Act 2, Scene 2 of Divided Loyalties by Garrett Thompson, blank happens. Then I need you to tell me, what does Abigail feel? What's your evidence? What's another thing that she feels? What's your evidence? And then um, a conclusion sentence to wrap it all up, okay? Um, so um, this is where this video is going to end. Just make sure you click back over to your Google Doc. And when you're done, please make sure that you're submitting um, so that I get that notification that you have completed the assignment. Okay, see you.